What's up, guys? This is D-Rock over at One Hive Invicta with another war recap. Some pretty cool stuff this time. Um, I haven't been able to get the uh, past war, so I'm going to do kind of a two-for-one. But I'm only going to show one um, attack from our last war, two wars ago, because it was a little bit of a snoozer. We beat a Korean clan pretty handily. Not many good bases, so I'm not going to waste too much time on it. But there is one attack from JJ that I did want to show because um, there's a lot of problems that I've been hearing about funnels and cute clean walking, and really it's just about their funnel. Um, so I wanted to highlight this video because I think you guys can learn something. Um, the thing that JJ always does really well is creates his funnel. So he actually comes in with a stone goho here, um, and he creates his funnel. So look at this point, look how big that funnel is. His wizard down here is going to end up hitting that um, storage and then going out of the builder hut. I'm even going to take out the archer tower, so that's really valuable. Um, for those whiz and then the wall breakers go in and look at this side. I mean Not no chance of the queen string. Uh, I know people have had a lot of tr problems with that But it's really just all about your funnel. Anyways Rand over just watch the attack um, Comes in here with the stones three golems in queen's beating on that drum No big deal plenty of tanking left in a tank. So once the um CC comes out, he drops his poison, those minions, archers, wizards, and that witch will all melt away like they never were there to begin with. Um, one of the golems strays off to the air defense, gets both uh, bombs on that side taken care of, so that's very nice to be able to get that on the way to the queen. Um, then his surgical comes in. So... It very smartly places heal up there. He knows there's a lot of high HP buildings, a lot of defenses up there. Um, and he's healing where his hogs are going, not necessarily where they are right now. So this group of hogs gets sacrificially offered up to the cock gods. Um, but not enough of them died for him, really to affect the, uh, the raid. He just overwhelmed those sides and as you can see how quickly everything happens all of the defenses are down and it is just clean up I mean he still has his Queen's ability so completely erect that base um, and really just clean up time so I'm gonna fast forward here plenty of hogs left wizards on that side cleaning it up Queen working on some walls but you know that's expected because she has nowhere else to go um, so yeah boom goes the dynamite buddy great job JJ keep it up buddy um, so that's the only one from that war. Good job to us, though. Let's see, I think, so out of 35, we got 96 stars, so we only had a couple T, uh, Town Hall 9 slip away. I mean, we were trying some different things, so not a big deal. Um, in our last war, some very cool attacks, though. Um, we beat this clan pretty handily. It was never really a match, but we brought the heat, and we have some good stuff to show you. So the first one, I'm kind of be, I'm gonna be going after my big brother here a little bit. Um, but we have an earthquake town hall 10 three star. So sorry, Jake, I love you, man. You're my inspiration. But I gotta say, I mean, with these spread out bases, this earthquake style attack is a guaranteed two. Um, I mean, you could use two jumps and it would be the same, or you could use one jump, I guess. But you're gonna have to gamble with the wall breakers for that first set of walls but enough of me talking i'm just gonna watch let, let the uh, attack show for itself so he drops the earthquake right in the middle of those defenses and then boom now there's an open compartment all the way to the core all he's gonna do is set up his wall breakers for his golem uh, entry points just so so they all go where he wants them to wall breakers on the right, wall breakers in the top, wall breakers in the middle, and then here comes a golem. So golems to fill those spots, um, actually three golems, wizards to back them up. And then at this point the pekkas go down, so there's nothing that the pekkas can go around the base, so they're gonna tank a lot for those expo, I mean those uh, inferno beams. Rage is up his troops, so they just push through faster. Because that core has opened up from the earthquake spell, Guess what? Those golems are going in. The Pekkas are going to go around the sides. So all of his actual DPS troops are being tanked for. Um, that core, he freezed it earlier. Now it's another rage to get those Infernos out of the way. 
and his level 40 queen is going to end up doing a lot of work here. She's going to take out a gold storage, but then work on to those side defenses. Um, the only defense left standing up there is the wizard tower, but that gets taken out by some golemites and a witch later on. So a lot of his troops are just staying alive through this entire raid. The Pekkas are doing their thing. He's going to end up having two of those bad boys left over at the end of this raid. So really smooth, really solid attack. And it was done with the Earthquake. So I don't know. The verdict isn't out yet, but um, I don't think it's as useless as we may think. I think that there is some use for it. Um, and with these type of uh, attacks at Town Hall 10, you want to make sure that you at least two-star these bases. So with the Earthquake, with these open forum, you know, you've seen Hocus Pocus, you've seen, um, I've never seen actually Lalo on this base, but um, you've seen Hocus Pocus, I think this is another style that's going to gonna start be coming out and, and used against this base. Um, I just, it's, it's so open, those golems go right in. Um, anyways, just clean up time at this point. So Maverick, great job, buddy. I know that's your trophy-pushing uh, trophy pushing army, um, but I mean... Keep it up in war. If you can get results like that, go for it. Um, okay, so next attack is coming by um, actually one of our recruits. So shout out to the dude. I don't usually show recruit uh, videos because it's meant for our core members, but anytime we can get some good content with a hocus pocus, I'm going to show it. So very similar base to the last one we just showed, just a different style of attack. He comes in with, yes, a Hocus Pocus. So he saves the first jump there for his wall breakers very smartly. Didn't waste a spell. Has his golem go in, do some initial tanking. Wizard down and his queen and then a bunch of witches with their larries. Um, raging them up. Getting the jump down, you guys have seen this a hundred times, but I'm going to show it to you again because I just love these attacks, and I know you do too. Um, these in <clears throat> infernos are set to single beam, so Larry's ain't going to be fretting. They're not going to be scared. They're just going to be going in. That rage is just going to push him through even faster. What dragon? You know what I mean? They're just... They're too overpowering. He has his king go in a little bit late, so those side defenses don't take down too many witches. Very smart move. That really made the attack um, and saved him from getting, it, or saved the three-star versus the two-star. So very smart on that. Um, and at this point, as you can see, even though these wizard towers are still up and uh, um, taking out some, some larries, they're really isn't much in the way so although you know by the time the wizard tower takes out a bunch of them there's a whole new wave coming the queen is backing that up so she's just going to help out those skeletons she's going to take out also some um, outer defenses as she works through he has some minions in the bag and at this point you know it's going to happen i'm going to speed up a little bit um just too much too many skeletons for this base to handle at this point and he gets the three star so great job dude and best of luck to you in the remaining um, attacks during your tryout so boom goes the dynamite good job dude Oh, and one thing I didn't mention um, was Maverick is from 2.0. Uh, a few of their members came down to help um, with this war, so it was great having them over, and it was great um, showcasing some of their skills. Um, the next attack is going to be by JJ again, um, just bringing these solid attacks. So I'm going to show it. Um, he comes in with another, I believe it's a Shattered Goho at this point. Um, creates his funnel nice and wide, like he always does. That golem's tanking. He uses the queen ability early, but it was very strategic because he's using her additional power to save the golem from dying. So because that golem didn't take as much fire from um, the dragon, it's able to tank longer and actually tank for some of his hawks. So when he comes in with the, oh, I'm, I'm fast forwarding here, I didn't even realize that, but when he comes in with his counterclockwise um, hog deployment, the the defense is already tanking for it. So at this point, the heals are already down, but he's healing where they're gonna be, and the defenses are already down at this point. So he doesn't have any more heals, and a bunch of hogs get taken out here, but, 
you know, there's nothing left to take it out. There's only a single expo, and he still has about 20 hogs. So, you know, he even has a golem there helping for cleanup. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. So, yeah, I'm just going to speed up. He didn't even use his poison. So, JJ, I mean, I, you must feel like a superstar right now because I keep showing you. But if you keep bringing attacks like that, I mean, what am I going to do? Um, and then two final attacks I'm going to show. Um, kind of a longer video, but it's been a little while since I've given you guys some content. So I want to get right to the good stuff. Um, we have Deuce on 18, and then we have Ivan on 19. Yes, this is the craze that we've been seeing lately, and look at the army comp. Can you guess what it is? Yes, it's a healer AQ walk. So this is like a new trend with the new AI. Queen's not going to be banging on walls anymore, so she's going to be just going around the outside. So if you guide her correctly, she will just walk around the outside with those healers and take out a bunch of buildings. So he starts creating his funnel on that top side. So now she is forced to go down on this side of the base so the, the key of an aq healer walk is to hit one or two defenses at a time so although you're hitting two four healers are not going to completely um, keep the aq at full health but by the time she's hit them and destroyed the, the defenses even though her health might be like halfway the healers will end up healing her back up so the only critique I have on this attack, I loved seeing the AQ healer walk. I believe this is his first attempt at it. The only critique I have is that once he, she takes out, uh, once his queen takes out the wizard tower, now those healers are in range of the air defense, and slowly but surely they start pittering out. So, but by the time the air defense does its work, the healers have done their work. So. They're not necessary at this point. He ends up using his queen's ability soon so she can power up and you know catch up with the rest of the group. He knows he wants to cut into this angle to get the queen. Um, so he creates the funnel smartly on that side and he drops his two golems. So he rages up here. He knows that dragon's going to come out. So he, with a, um, a couple golems and the, Q, the queen... Um, Raged up, that dragon goes down with a couple hits from the wizard and the queen. So at this point, he's already started his hog deployment. I can't even talk fast enough to keep up with how fast this attack was, but he basically sends in a little Asian wall from the top, heals both groups, and look what's left. Um, they're standing in heals the entire time, but there's nothing that can stop them. The only thing is that Expo, um, that bomb does do a little bit of damage, but he still has about. 15 hogs at this point, so the Tesla goes down the Archer Tower, and then the Tesla and the last Mortar goes down. So, he didn't even use his poison, um, he has cleanup wizards going up around the top, and then they all meet up for a nice cleanup party, and it is a three star, so, great job buddy, keep up the good work. Alright, next one is by Ivan, very cool attack, um, it's a go wee wee low. So, with these uh, wide open bases, you know, you've seen Valks, you've seen other things, same kind of concept, you want to push in with your golems, uh, he has three golems, a bunch of witches, some wizards, and he wants to create that funnel, and send in his wall breakers, and then he's going to jump to the core. So, with all these skellies, and all of these wizards, and the queen and king coming behind, it's basically like, hey, what dragon? Did you have anything in the CC? Oh, you had a dragon? Oh, well, I didn't notice. Because those skeletons are just tank, uh, tanking for it, distracting for it, so really it didn't do anything. Nice, you got a couple witches going around the outside to eventually help out with the cleanup. Um, he rages up the core to make sure all those expos and air defenses go down. The only thing that I would critique at this point is send in your, send in your loons now. You're waiting a little bit too long because they do have some travel time. Uh, but I'm just nitpicking. So the loons come in here, a um, couple loons per defense. Maybe he could have put some over here to help out his king and witches on that side. Um, but the loons will end up beating up and taking out the remaining defenses. So I'm just going to speed up here a little bit because you guys know what's going to happen. Too many loons for too little defenses. Um, and then... Boom. So the only thing is left the cannon, and that will not shoot down a loon, so 
it is a three star. Very nice attack, Ivan. Keep it up, buddy. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I'm going to be coming out with a new series, a couple new series this this week, and I'm all actually going to be covering 2.0 wars as well. So very exciting times here at One Hive 2.0 and Invicta, and I hope to bring you guys more solid attacks in the future. Also, if you have an idea for a catchphrase or an ending, I'm always struggling with that. I don't know what a good ending is for these videos. Um, so if you guys have any good ideas, a play on words with One Hive or 2.0 or Invicta, send them in the in the comments, and I will take in. Um, every single one into consideration no promises that i'm going to use yours but you know I, I love to see what kind of ideas you have so until next time this is drock over at one hive 2.0 and invicta with your see insert motto here anyways cheers guys